FBI released this report after a Freedom of Information Act request was filed after Steve Jobs died. And it goes back to 1991. You can see Steve Jobs was a young man at the time. And he was up for a position in President George H.W. administration. Uh, it was a position on the Export Council. It's 191 pages long, this report. It's based on interviews with uh, Jobs' former co-workers, his friends, even some of his neighbors. And there are a lot of complimentary things in it. This particular individual said that Steve Jobs was impressive and an outstanding individual and that he would recommend Steve Jobs for the position. But there was also some criticism included in this report. Another individual characterized Mr. Jobs as a deceptive individual who's not completely forthright and honest. He stated that Mr. Jobs will twist the truth and distort reality in order to achieve his goals. Now, there are details in this report, some that we have heard about before, including the fact that Steve Jobs had a daughter born out of wedlock and that he originally did not offer the child or her mother uh, much support, but that did change later on as the child got older. Also, another detail, more details about his drug use. That was approximately a period from 1970 to 1974 when he was experimenting with marijuana and LSD. Some other details about here is the fact that he actually, his grade point average was about 2.65 on a scale of a 4.0. That's his high school grade point average. Another detail that I had not heard about before was that he was actually the target of a bomb threat. This goes back to 1985. There was someone who called uh, the Apple offices and threatened as that they said that they had planted four devices and that they would detonate these devices unless this individual was paid one million dollars. Some of the details uh, that there was a San Francisco Hilton Hotel. There was a table there. This individual said that he would place a note with further instructions underneath the table. The FBI was called in. They checked out the table. They checked out Steve Jobs' home. There was never a note found, and there were never any bombs. So the threat, uh, it was essentially a hoax is what it was. So there's some interesting details about this. And the reason why we've been able to get a glimpse of, about all of these, this information is Steve Jobs himself actually signed a waiver allowing the FBI to do this check. But uh, when uh, the special agent in charge asked to interview Steve Jobs back in 1991, he told the agent, uh, I can't talk to you for another three three weeks and I can't even spare an hour to talk to you. In the end, Steve Jobs did not get that position on the Export Council. Lisa Sylvester, CNN, Washington.